Hi YouTube, this is Anamga4 and I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up Yahoo Mail in a variety of different ways on the, the Galaxy S2 from Samsung. This video is in response to uh, viewers comments on how to set this up. Uh, the viewers username is CSIS1140. Um, so I'm just going to go through a couple of ways of setting this up but before we do we just need to enable our Yahoo Mail account for pop forwarding. So I'll just switch over to my PC and show you that. We're on our Yahoo uh, home page here and to enable our Yahoo mail account um, for pop email so it can be downloaded to a pop email account either on a computer or on a, a remote device like a laptop or, or in our case on our mobile phone uh, what we need to do is uh, log into a mail account I've already logged in here as you can see there so we cl want to click through to the icon which was labeled mail in the top right once we click on mail we get uh, taken to this page where we've got the um, mail folders on the left hand side and what you want to do is click on towards the top right of the screen where it says options just here you click on options and then um, click on mail options okay so when you go through to mail options what we want on the left hand side is where it says pop and forwarding um, from um, the account itself um, as a default it's not set to forward any type of mail via pop or anything else so what you need to do is uh, select this top function which says allow your Yahoo mail to be popped uh, when popping mail messages it gives you options in the drop down to also allow spam to come through to your devices as well uh, in this example we're going to choose don't pop spam okay and then all you do is click on save changes and it says save changes to pop on forwarding and that's it that's your yahoo mail account now s set up and ready for pop mail okay to begin with uh, we're on our yahoo uh, home page here and to enable our yahoo mail account um, for pop email so it can be downloaded to a pop email account either on a computer or on a, a remote device like a laptop or, or in our case on our mobile phone uh, what we need to do is uh, log into a mail account I've already logged in here as you can see there so we cl want to click through to the icon which was labeled mail in the top right once we click on mail we get uh, taken to this page where we've got the um, mail folders on the left hand side and what you want to do is click on towards the top right of the screen where it says options just here you click on options and then um, click on mail options okay so when you go through to mail options what we want on the left hand side is where it says pop and forwarding um, from um, the account itself um, as a default it's not set to forward any type of mail via pop or anything else so what you need to do is uh, select this top function where it says allow your yahoo mail to be popped uh, when popping mail messages it gives you options in the drop down to also allow spam to come through to your devices as well uh, in this example we're going to choose don't pop spam okay and then all you do is click on save changes and it says save changes to pop on forwarding and that's it that's your yahoo mail account now s set up and ready for pop mail and so we can then uh, continue with our um, setup of the uh, email account on the, on the Samsung Galaxy S2 so I'll just return back to the device now that we've just set uh, pop forwarding on our mail account we won't, we won't need the computer again so going to the the smartphone um, the first method that we can set the, this up is via the, the the standard default method which is basically go to mail account and the social hub sorry from there go to menu add account yahoo mail uh, type in the email address that we've got uh, I'm just going to try and quickly type this in let's have a look obviously talk amongst yourselves while I just type this so the u email address and password are in first um, we leave the set as premium account pop slash imap enabled uh, we deselect the other two uh, we hit next it says retrieving account information now because I'm working off the Wi-Fi this should be pretty quick um, We'll just give that a second for that to finish. 
There we go, that's done. It says your account is now set up and the email is on its way. Give this account a name. Um, I'll be fine, we'll leave it as standard. We click done. Um, we're not interested in synchronizing the contacts or calendars or instant me messaging stuff right now, so we'll click done there as well. And then you can see it's pulled down the mail pretty quick. Um, now, this is using the push configuration. So, what push configuration is, is basically the phone doesn't wait to talk to the server. As soon as the server receives the email, or Yahoo's server receives the email from uh, anybody else, it sends it straight to the phone. So that's called push because the server is pushing the mail as it receives it to the phone, rather than the other method, which is waiting for the phone to check with the server every 10 minutes, every 15, every half hour, or every day, or every week, whatever you set it up to be. Uh, so we'll, we'll just come out of that, go back to a home screen. I'm just going to send uh, a quick email to this account uh, from another. There you go, that's the email come in. See, so that's what I mean by true push. I've just sent it as the service received it, it sent it straight to the phone. I've had no I uh, haven't had to refresh the, the account on the phone itself. Um there you go, you can see that's come in there. Um so what we can do um is if we go in, is it the me who mail? There you go, you can see that's in there. Okay, so if we come out of that, I'm just gonna show you the, the second way of actually setting up the account. So uh, if I just delete that account for now, okay. Second way we can set that up is go to Social Hub again, uh, hit on Menu, Add Account, do another Yahoo account, type in the email address. At this time, we don't select Set as Premium Account, we we'll deselect it. This is only if you have trouble setting up the first method, obviously. Um, deselect all of those, just click next and it says checking incoming server settings and now it will say outgoing server settings it's pretty quick as I say because I'm working off the Wi-Fi uh, now it says it's done, we'll leave the standard names as it is, click done click done again and now it's refreshing with the server now this is the, set, the way that we've just set this up now this is called pop mail so what this does is we, the phone syncs with the server so this uh, as the phone is set to receive mail or check the server for mail every five ten day week whatever you set it to be um, it checks the server and uh, for any, any new mail uh, or any new mail that it sees it then downloads so if you send mail if I, if I send an email to this account now it won't come through until I physically hit refresh now what I'm going to do is just send another email to the phone from another account. So as we're looking at the, the mail account there, nothing's come through. But if I manually hit refresh, there we go. You can see it's just come in there, the new email. That's what I mean by that's a pop account it's not essentially the best way to push mail to your phone because you want to be able to see mail as and when the server receives it not as and when your phone can be bothered to actually check the server um, but if you prefer this method and this is the only method that works for you what you can do is from the mail account itself go to menu more account settings and then what you want to do is go down to what it says email check frequency and you can set that to never 5, 10, 15 minutes, every hour, every day, that sort of thing. That's the second way of setting it up. The third way to set, uh, set up a Yahoo Mail account on the Galaxy S2 is my favorite way. It's using the, the Yahoo app from the Android Marketplace. Uh, I think that's a better way of doing it. It's got a better inf interface than the standard Mail app on the, on the phone itself. So. I'm just going to download that quickly and just show you if we go to the marketplace and then if we search for Yahoo Mail and then you go at the top we just tap it hit download accept and download there we go As I said, I'm still working off the Wi-Fi so this should be pretty quick now that's done so if we open the app and if we just type in the email address to get it linked okay there we go we've done there uh, we don't want to set up a new Yahoo ID because we've already got one so we click on add account 
and it says signing into Yahoo initialize your mailbox do we want to sync contacts not right now so we click untick that and click done there you go it brings up a visual representation of the mailbox and the various folders inside of it you can already see it's synced up with one mail in the sent spam and trash and if we go into the inbox you'll be able to see all the emails that we've sent so far uh, that we've received so far should I say and this is a true reflection of what push mail is so I'm going to co come out and go right back to the home screen um, and just quickly send an email to this account so if I just click send uh, from my computer there we go that's sent and as I'm still working off Wi-Fi so it shouldn't take too long to get to the phone itself and once it does I can then show you what it looks like on the on the app itself um, so what you do is because we've installed it we'll go to uh, applications uh, and you can see the mail app is just plonked on uh, on my desktop so not on my desktop sorry on uh, the application screen so if you hit mail and then you can see there's a one email showing in the inbox we haven't refreshed anything uh, and it's given us the sound so there's a little bit uh, of a delay there but you can see the little notification of I don't know if you can see that the little notification of the Yahoo icon and the mail in the top left of the notification bar um, but that's a true reflection of what push mail should be in the sense of does someone send you an email uh, it comes into the Yahoo mail server the Yahoo mail server then sends it to your phone um, it doesn't wait for the phone uh, for the phone um, to check the server yeah. and if you look there you can see that's just sent that's a new one and it's just I just typed in gobbledygook but that's my best ways of installing um, the Yahoo mail uh, on, the, on the Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone and as I say I prefer the final uh, method that I've showed you of using the Yahoo mail app from the Android marketplace the app doesn't cost anything it works flawlessly um, you don't need to mess around with server setting ports or certificates or anything like that it works brilliantly out of the box um, so that's for CSIS1140 it's that, if that's helped you out brilliant uh, if that's helped out other people as well even better um, obviously uh, click up above to subscribe to my channel um, any questions or comments that you have just comment below again if you need me to do anything just get in contact thanks for watching bye